you. Thank you for coming and being here with me today. I appreciate you. I want to talk to you about something that I think is important and is timely, and that's representation. But before I get into it, can you please take a moment? Can you just press that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos? I'm posting every Sunday so you can follow along with me on this journey. And I've set a goal for more than 100 subscribers before the end of September. So if you can help me with that, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, now, representation. <laughs> If you've seen my first video, you know why uh, this whole platform is phenomenal me. But if not, don't worry, I'm gonna catch you up right now. When I was a kid, my mother had me reading poems by Maya Angelou, and one specifically was Phenomenal Woman. Now I read that one over and over again, and I thought my mom wanted me to do that just so I could practice my reading, my comprehension, you know, like, mm, keep the kid occupied. But as I'm getting older, I'm appreciating the impact that that poem has had in my life. Because in that poem, I learned that I could be a woman who is bold, who is powerful, who has curves, who is sensual. Like I got to be this, I get to be this full picture of a woman. And because at the time, Maya Angelou was still alive, so I got to see her actually exemplifying what that was. And to me, that was a beautiful example. Now, moving a little forward to myself, when I went to school, my reading and not my reading, but my my writing and my math were terrible. <laughs> All that reading and still, but whatever. And uh, my father was like, no, no, you're not gonna be struggling in these things. And he, well, they sent me to uh, Higher Marks. If you don't know Higher Marks, it was a school in Toronto many years ago. And it was for black students to go and to excel. So I used to go there. I remember my dad told me that I was going to go to a summer camp and I was so excited because I never went to summer camp before. It was there, also known as summer school. Anyway, what I saw there though, were teachers who cared about me as a young black child and they wanted for me to succeed. You felt that from them. I met other students who were in either the same boat as me, different boats, just different demogra demographics, different everything, because we came from all over to attend this school. It was a beautiful experience. And um, yeah, from there, I learned a lot. I learned nemesis. That was my very favorite word back then, like just things beyond what you would have thought. So I really appreciated being nurtured in that environment. And then I also was dragged because I was a kid and I didn't want to be there. But I went to the Harry Jerome Awards just about every year up until I became a teenager. Now I would volunteer or I would go with my dad. But the reason we would go is because I would go there and I would see people operating in excellence. Black people in different careers, in different fields at the top showcasing what was available for me because representation is important. If you bring it to today, I'm now thinking about Chadwick Boseman and how important a role he played in his choice and the roles that he, he took and the way he carried himself off camera, um, not off camera, I don't know, but how he carried himself outside, like in the media and in interviews, in truth, and even in the circle that he surrounded himself with, he, he was a, a great example. A great example for those younger than him, for those older than him, for just the community to see a black lead lead. Yeah. Anyway, um, I bring it to today to talk about us because somebody is watching our journey and we are somebody's example. We are representation for someone. And I think that that is such a beautiful thing. I think one of Chadwick's poems, or quote, sorry, that I, I really appreciate is one where he's saying he hopes that when he gets to, like when he meets God, that um, he will not have had any talent left, that he would have left it all here. And I think that's beautiful. I wanna live a life in a way that is so bold, that is so out there, that I'll be spent at the time that I die. And even in me, for me to do this, to do this channel, to be sharing and speaking about my thoughts and putting my life out there, it's, it's a little scary, but 
I'm hoping that by me doing this, I'll give breath to somebody else and that someone else will be able to speak and to step out and do something that scares them. So I, I guess I'm challenging you to see how in your life are you being a, a representation? <laughs> an example, I suppose, would be the better word. How are you being an example to someone else? And let's live our lives in a way that will last beyond us. Because look at all these examples. They have now passed, but their legacies, their, their impact continues. So I guess that's why I'm thinking representation matters. Oh, wow. Guys, thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate it. And I hope you found it helpful and maybe encouraging. Um, I'm going to end this by playing a quote by Chadwick Boseman. And while that's happening, can I ask you to do one of two things? Can you tell me someone who has been an example to you? I think it's beautiful to celebrate those who have led the way for us. And secondly, can you, or either one, can you tell me how you are being an example to the future? And I would love to support you in this. So there we go. Thanks guys. Take care. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. I don't know what your future is, but if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than success, the one that's ultimately proven to have more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. This is your time. Chadwick Boseman.